So I'm sitting here reviewing some footage for the Predator Academy show, and it got me to thinking, you know, I get asked quite often, what sounds do I play when the coyotes howl to me and they're inside the timber? It's kind of hard to answer, but I'll do my best. It all depends on the response that you get from the coyotes. You got two responses. One, they're just naturally yipping and howling and barking and carrying on. Two, they're yipping, barking, howling, carrying on, but you got one in there or maybe two in there that are showing aggression. You know, a lot of barking, a lot of, you know, very distinct howls that, I mean, will set themselves apart from the rest. You know, double bark, howling, chopping those howls off gravelly with an attitude. I mean, you'll be able to tell. So you got those two responses out of the coyote. The first response, just natural yipping. In those situations, I like to start off with the prey distress, rabbit, mouse, you know, bird, some sort, low volume, work my way up with volume, two or three minutes, nothing shows, then I'll start working my way into some kite vocalizations and hope that in that situation, hopefully the, the prey distress is all it takes to get one to come out or two to come out and offer the shot and I get a kill. The second situation, which is what these hunts that I'm reviewing, how they played out. I howled, they responded. There was one in there that was showing aggression, which those are the responses I like because I know I've got one pissed off and it's a lot easier to get him to commit and come running in than when they're not pissed off. <laughs> so what I like to do in that situation, I let them run their mouths, I let them do their thing. They, you know, finally quit barking, howling. I'll give them about 30 seconds of silence. And then I'm going to start with a subtle coyote vocal sound. One that basically portrays a coyote disturbed, not necessarily distressed with a lot of squealing and squalling. So I'll start with that you know, less aggressive sound and work it for maybe three, four minutes and hope that, you know, that's all it takes to get that pissed off coyote to expose himself. You know, many times you're going to see, you know, more than one, not all the time, but many times I'll say that. So you've got the opportunity for, you know, multiple coyotes going in your truck, which with this first hunt is exactly what happened. You know, I don't know how many exactly were in the woods, but I knew there was one that was not happy with my presence. So immediately I go to that less subtle coyote vocal because I want to, you know, hopefully that kill them on that. So I've got more sounds in my bag for the next time I go back and work on those, you know, surviving coyotes or coyotes that filled the void. So start off with the subtle sound and sure enough you know after a couple minutes they come into the field i was in and as you see on this first hunt when the coyote comes through the fence row he sees my truck and starts to check out of there um luckily he didn't go back through the fence row he stayed in the field off you know to where i could get a shot at him but as i'm following him i see a second one that had come through the fence on up and it had no idea my truck was there, or what was going on actually. So ended up shooting him first and then getting lucky and uh, knocking the second one down on a couple uh, running shots. So those two, you know, went in the truck and all it took was that subtle coyote vocalization to get them, to get them come in to investigate what was going on. The second hunt, same scenario, I howled, a coyote in there was aggressive, same sound, worked him for a couple minutes. He comes to the edge. I'm standing in a wide open field on top of a hill and I knew I was skylined. So I knew, and it, this field I was in was rather small. So I knew it was gonna be a quick, quick shot. And when he come to the edge and he's looking right at me, I knew I better take the shot because he might wheel around and offer no shot, so. Ended up killing him. So there's three coyotes in the truck and those were off of those aggressive coyotes and their responses. 
you know, not always do they come in on that first sound. These hunts, they did, you know, and when they don't come in on that first sound, I just basically build the intensity up going from that subtle sound to my last sound being a full-blown knockdown drag out coyote fight. Lots of growling, barking, squalling, and carrying on. And if that might be the fourth sound that I throw at them vocally, and if it doesn't work, then you know, I grab my stuff and come back and try and get them another time. 